3D printed carbon fiber nylon adapter manifold. Working perfectly. Hey guys, Casey or Too Many Miatas here again. It's been about a year since my last update video on my GSXR ITB conversion on my 1.6 Miata. And there's a pretty good reason for that. I've been working on a kit, essentially, with a carbon fiber nylon manifold, intake manifold, that adapts to the GSXR ITBs. Rather than using the stock cut-up manifold that I was using, I replaced it with this, since it's much more cost-effective, and you can design, essentially, whatever you want. It still uses the 1.6 stock fuel rail with 1.6 stock injectors. Had to work on all the clearances, but I have gotten the clearances right. No fuel leaks. You'll see that later in the video when the car's running and idling and such. And overall, it's a pretty simple setup. We've got printed stubby velocity stacks with a, an adapter piece and silicon or silicone, sorry, uh, couplers, just like my last setup. The only major difference, really, is a printed velocity stack and a printed manifold. I've also printed the um, IAT adapter piece just because it's more cost-effective as well. And one of the comments in the last video was talking about a catch can. So I've actually, I was working on one before I even got that comment, but ultimately I just 3D printed one. Pretty simple design, just bounce over on the side of the car has the, the two ports that were just breathing the atmosphere routed around the head going right over to that catch can. So, really simple design. One thing that I neglected to mention in the last video, and that's mostly because I didn't know about it, was that you actually need to sync these throttle bodies, or balance them, essentially. And mine were already balanced, since I bought them from someone that had already balanced them. He didn't let me know that they, you know, needed to be balanced, because they had already been balanced, essentially. But, that is something you guys need to keep in mind when you're purchasing used versions of these. If you'd like to grab a set of them, you can actually use a old carburetor balancer, and I'll put a link to it right here on the on the screen and in the description, and you can use one of those. Just put it directly in the velocity stack and adjust these four little screws until they're all even, essentially. There's just like a little gauge on the, um, the synchrometer, essentially, and you just adjust it until they're all reading the same number, and then you've got balanced throttle bodies. Pretty simple. I just entirely neglected it in my last video since I didn't know about it. One of the other noteworthy things specifically about these GSXR throttle bodies compared to some of the others is that this center to center to center spacing for all of these is actually 75, 80, 75, where usually it would be 80, 80, 80. And I had to learn that the hard way through testing and all of that sorts of things. So one thing really to keep in mind essentially if you're gonna purchase this kit or any ITB kit essentially is to make sure that you know what the center bore spacing is between all of the ITBs. So for my kit, for the 1.6s, I'll be designing it for a 75, 80, 75 spacing, which will be for GSXR 750 throttle bodies from 2004 and 2005. But I will also sell a manifold that has 80, 80, 80 spacing for GSXR 750 throttle bodies from 2001 through 2003. Now, if you need any other sort of like custom spacing or any other sorts of specifications, you can always DM me and let me know. But specifically, my kit will be designed for 75, 80, 75. I'm still using an aluminum throttle cable bracket. I am working on a carbon fiber nylon design, but I wanted to get this video out now rather than waiting and delaying it any longer. But there will be an option to buy a carbon fiber nylon adapter if you'd like. One of the only differences between the original manifold and this manifold is that there used to be a vacuum port right off to the side, but rather than having that on the actual manifold itself, I designed little adapter pieces that replace the stock GSXR injectors and essentially allow you to get vacuum ports off of the ITBs without having to drill or tap or modify them directly. And that little setup is really, really simple. It's just a pretty much a direct copy of a GSXR injector. It takes the same O-rings and everything and just I use 3D printer fittings because that's what I had on hand at the time, but I mean obviously you could really use any kind of fitting you want and you could always tap directly into the ITBs themselves, but that's more of a permanent modification rather than something that's not permanent like this. So, Along with that, you could always have a metal IAT adapter. This was the, the one that I originally had on my car and you saw in the last video. Now, since these are so much more cost effective in my opinion than cutting a stock manifold and trying to TIG weld it yourself or paying someone to TIG weld it. I'll actually be selling these manifolds specifically, and if you're interested in purchasing one, there'll be one in the link down below for a pre-order. Originally I had the metal manifold with 
one six injectors. These are one eight, but they're just for testing purposes. And these velocity stacks on the car. And now, essentially, I have this manifold, which is a carbon fiber nylon one, although this was one of my first test versions, and you can kind of see that it was a little bit too thin on the material side, so it kind of mushroomed there in, in different portions. But this one did actually work still, but I've made some pretty big improvements on this design so far. The adapter pieces that I have on my car right now are aluminum press fit with velocity stacks bolted on, and instead of doing that, I actually decided to print some that would be, you know, a press fit piece and then bolt it onto that along with a grub screw just to make sure it didn't move. Just to make sure, you know, you never know. But I realized that you could simply do a one piece solution with, oh, there we go, one grub screw. Much simpler design, eliminates a, you know, any sort of two piece thing and it's, it's honestly kind of a pain in the ass to have to bolt up the velocity stacks in the first place. If you've ever done it, you know it's not that fun. So going to a one-piece solution definitely makes it a lot easier. This is a simple representation of pretty much what's on my car currently. Carbon fiber nylon manifold with 1.6 injectors. These are 1.8, but those are just for testing purposes. Stock 1.6 fuel rail bolted to the manifold with GSXR 750 throttle bodies, silicon coupled, although I don't have any extra couplers currently, but you'd silicon coupler them right there with press fit adapter pieces. This one would be bolted on, essentially. Don't have any bolts for that right now, but that's all the setup is, ultimately, plus, you know, a throttle cable bracket over here, and a little tiny IIT adapter. It's a fundamentally really, really simple setup. Price point-wise on the carbon fiber intake manifold, I'm thinking right around $200. Pretty reasonable price. Uh, Dan Street Engineering sells his aluminum manifold that doesn't actually have uh, stock injector holes for around the same price, and so I think I think it's pretty reasonable. I mean, if you wanted to buy a CNC like billet manifold that was in the same kind of configuration as this, it would be you know upwards of probably 500 bucks. So I think it's a pretty pretty fair price for for the manifold essentially. And I'll, I'll give it, you know, some more time and some more testing just to make sure everything is good before I, you know, finally release these to the public and make, you know, final copies, essentially. But so far, I haven't had any issues, so I don't really see why that shouldn't be, you know, in the next couple weeks or sooner, really. I'll probably have the link in the description to where you could pre-order them or get in contact with me if you'd want to purchase one of these, but pretty simple design. And... Obviously, you could make this throttle cable bracket yourself and the IET bracket yourself if you got some scrap aluminum. aluminum. Like, it's, it's not hard, really. But the, the manifold is what's kind of the, the ticket, really. And it's, it's taken me a long time to get to this point. A lot of material, a lot of man hours, a lot of time spent at the printer. One thing that I forgot to mention as well, it's kind of a little obvious, and that's kind of why I forgot to mention it, but... The manifolds themselves are actually split into two pieces just to make it easier for me to print. And that's the same setup that's currently on my car. So no issues with sealing so far. Another thing I forgot to mention as well is um, this was added after I essentially turned this fuel rail into a vacuum rail by using these little adapter pieces that I showed you earlier that were 3D printed. So if you were just using the GSXR injectors, you don't need to cap this off because the injectors don't open until they're pulsed or they get an electrical current. But if you're going to actually use this as a vacuum manifold or like a vacuum rail, essentially, then you do need to cap it off. And you could always use this for a um, vacuum port as well, but this was just easier for me because this isn't the exact same size and just, just simpler. So, As far as the vacuum line setup goes, I know it kind of looks a little complicated and I haven't really like cleaned it up yet, but ultimately I have my brake booster line and my fuel pressure regulator line both going into a vacuum T and then that vacuum line just goes all the way under the ITBs over to one of these little injector vacuum manifold things and I've had no issues with it so far no real problems with my brakes works perfectly fine and no problems with fuel pressure either and then for manifold uh, absolute pressure I have it just teed into the um, the four ports on the ITBs just as I had it in the last setup Really not much has changed compared to the last setup. I'm also still running my GSXR 
TPS sensor, the same one that I was running last time. Uh, if you were going to do a stock ECU setup with a plenum box and a MAF, then you would need to make some sort of an adapter plate to adapt to that TPS. I'll be making some in the future for the 1.6 and the 1.8. That way, if people want to try and make a stock ECU setup, that'll be possible. So, I just haven't designed one yet, essentially. One of the projects I mentioned in the last video as well was a digital dash, which I have since completed. It took me a little while to figure out the voltage divider setup for the fuel gauge, but it is pretty pretty awesome, honestly, having a Speedwino Raspberry Pi dash. And I will have a guide for this in the future. Sorry about the glare, pretty bad. And I'll, I'll do like a screen recording in that video as well, so it's a lot easier to see. But there's an example of it.